Now, let's get down to the facts. What is hemophilia? Hemophilia is a rare bleeding disorder in which the blood doesn't clot normally because it lacks sufficient clotting factors. So basically, if you accidentally cut yourself, you will bleed a whole lot more than a normal person. Jeez, that would suck. So, there are two types of hemophilia, hemophilia A and hemophilia B. Hemophilia A is caused by a mutation in the gene factor A, so there is a deficiency in the clotting factor. Girls can be a carrier of this gene. Hemophilia B is caused by a mutation in the ninth factor of the gene in the corresponding chromosome. This one is seen more commonly in men. <laughs> Sorry boys. Hemophilia is located on the X sex chromosome. So, since women have double X chromosomes, they can carry the mutation but never get the disease since hemophilia is a recessive trait. Men, however, only have one of each X and Y chromosomes, so they are the ones that usually get the genetic disease. Well, if you think you might have hemophilia, there are a few ways to find out. You can either run a screening test to see if your blood can clot properly, or take a clotting factor test that will tell you what type of hemophilia in the degree. Or you can usually tell if you bleed a lot. Oh, so you do have hemophilia? But no worries! The main treatment given to people with hemophilia is called replacement therapy. Concentrates of clotting factor 8 or clotting factor 9 are slowly dripped or injected into a vein. These infusions help replace the clotting factor that is missing or low. But we still don't know what it's like to have free hemophilia, right? If you have hemophilia, you first gotta avoid getting cuts, or fall off a bike, or play contact sports like rugby. Basically, you have to avoid hurting yourself like this guy. Yeah, never do that. You should also avoid taking aspirin, ibuprofen, naproxen, and other anti-inflammatory medicines because they increase the risk of bleeding. But if you started bleeding, you can slow it down by eating popsicles or applying ice packs. Well, here's a fun fact. In the 19th and 20th centuries, Queen Victoria of England passed her hemophilic gene down to the royalties in Spain, Germany, and Russia, who each had male successors that showed the symptoms of severe bleeding. Thus. Hemophilia became popular as a royal disease. Well, our video is almost over, but just remember that having hemophilia will not always make you depressed. You can still lead a healthy life even if you have hemophilia. You just have to take care of your body more than other people. Thanks for watching! Created using Powtoon.